Welcome back to the channel. Today we're not fishing. It's a little cold, windy. Picked the perfect day to get a repower done on the Sea Pro. We are over here at Old Salt Marine, okay, in Palmetto, Florida. Pretty much my home grounds these days. And we are getting this Mercury pulled off this boat. It's got 1,200 hours in two, three years. And we are getting a Suzuki 300 put on here. Uh, we've done our research on what we want to do. And that's going to be our next step. I've run Yamaha, now run Mercury. Now we're about to run some Suzuki. Uh, like the pricing, like everything going on with Suzuki, the warranty, everything they got. So what we're going to do today in today's video is we are going to compare. We're going to compare this Mercury right here to the Suzuki 300. We're going to give you the miles per gallon. We're going to give you everything we can come up with so you can make the best decision on your next repower. Now, Old Salt Marine over here, is, the reason why we picked them is they are, one, a Suzuki, uh, a C-Pro dealer, which is what we run, and two, they are a top Suzuki repower center here in Florida. So we're going to go in there, get checked in, and get this thing started. All right, so just picking up the boat over here at Old Salt. Got the repower done. Got the new Suzuki, looking good. We're gonna make a couple little customizations to it, make it black and white, and make it look really good with this new wrap we're getting ready to get put on this boat. But it's time to go do some water testing, okay? So we're gonna go look at some top speed, we're gonna look at some miles per gallon. We're gonna look at a lot of things. Uh, and then we're also gonna go over some technical stuff as far as warranty and uh, cost and everything else and compare these motors and uh, give you a good outlook if you're looking to repower between Mercury, Suzuki, and even some Yamaha. I mean, I, I ran Yamaha for eight years. I've had seven or eight of them out the gate. Uh, so I'll give you a little bit of information on the Yamahas too. But as far as numbers on the C-Pro 250, you're gonna see the Mercury versus Suzuki numbers, both 300s. The Mercury was a V8 and the Suzuki is a V6. But we're gonna see what the numbers tell us. So let's go get it on the water and get some water testing done. Oh, chip. All right, so we made it out on the water. Uh, had to get a break in done on the motor. Motors broke in about 15 minutes on that and about, I don't know, three to five hours I did on 3,000 RPMs. I will go through a break in motor video soon. We're gonna do one on the break in of how it works and how to go about it. But right now we're gonna get all the numbers off it. So we're gonna get top speed, miles per gallon at about 38 miles an hour because I know what that was in the Mercury. I know what my top speed was. And then we're gonna go through cost, warranty, all that other stuff and any other stuff we might find along the way, you know? So let's see what, first thing I wanna do is top speed. I wanna see how fast this motor is compared to the other one. On this 250, the Mercury got about 48, 49 miles an hour uh, at wide open throttle. Uh, remember, this is a heavy boat. We're not running a, a small skiff or a shallow Jaffin skiff. It's a big deep V boat. So we're in a bunch of boat traffic right now. So we're gonna get up on step and see what it does. full of top speed on the boat caught a couple waves on the ride out but uh 53 miles an hour so it looks like we picked up about three to four miles an hour with the suzuki over the mercury i like that fast screams one thing i can tell you too about this motor is compared to the mercury and we're talking the mercury 300 to suzuki 300 and all these motors are built a little different is it's a little louder okay this is the mercury was a very quiet tight motor the Suzuki is a tight but loud, deeper motor. So if you like the sound of that, that scream out of a motor, this Mercury screams, I mean, uh, the Suzuki screams, but the Mercury also has the Verado and stuff like that to where you can turn that on and off. My Mercury was the plain 300 V8 and did not have that, but I did enjoy the quietness on charters. 
when I was talking to clients. So, you know, noise level, Mercury's gonna be a little quieter, Suzuki's gonna be a little louder. Speed-wise though, Suzuki got it. So next thing we're gonna check out is the miles per gallon. I wanna see at 36 miles an hour what they compare at. So I'm gonna get this boat up to 36 and then I'll see what miles per gallon are going at. So we just got the miles per gallon. Uh, it was right at 36 to 38 miles an hour between 3.2 and 3.5 miles per gallon. Now the Mercury at the same speeds was getting right at 3.2. So I would say they're pretty neck and neck. These motors, the technology and the fuel economy has come a long ways and I think, I think these, these motors are getting pretty close, but Suzuki did have the edge a little bit. We're getting a little bit better uh, on this motor than we got on the Mercury, but not by much. So um, I want to see what my wide open throttle is too. Uh, I want to see what that is, what I'm burning at wide open uh, comparably to the Mercury. So let's let's open it up and uh, see what these numbers are again on that wide open throttle of miles per gallon. I mean, uh, miles per gallon of what we're burning, or gallons per hour of what we're burning uh, on this motor. So let's check that out. So we just opened it up wide open throttle and it looks like again these boats and motors are pretty close the mercury verado 1.9 at wide open throttle the suzuki 1.99 so pretty darn close pretty comparable motors uh, as far as that now let's talk about the other schematics that are different that i looked up okay used to be suzuki's were a little cheaper i'm starting to find out that because these suzuki's have gotten so good with their technology just like everybody else these motors are pretty comparable, okay? Every dealership's gonna be different, um, you know, different control systems, different gauges, so it's really hard to give you an exact number, okay? So I'm not gonna give you an exact number. I'm gonna tell you these motors range between 28 and $33,000, you know? So 28 to $33,000 is gonna be the range of the Mercury V8 air aspirated block and the Suzuki 300. Now, weight-wise, uh, the Mercury I had was like 527, okay, and this, this Suzuki is 620, I think, or something like that. It's about 100 pounds heavier motor, okay? Now, I'm not seeing a difference in that, okay? These motors seem to be about the same weight on the transom. I'm not seeing any more porpoising, not seeing anything any different in that aspect. Um, I'm gonna tell you the one biggest difference what made me buy Suzuki now and take the Verado off the back of the boat, or not the Verado, the Mercury off the back of the boat, warranty. The Mercury comes with a three-year warranty, okay? Now you can buy extended warranty, but it comes with a factory three-year warranty. Suzuki comes with a factory five-year warranty. And for me, the amount of hours I spent on the water, my Mercury had 1,250 hours on it in the three-year span. The amount of hours I spent, I need my warranty. So I went with the five-year warranty this time. Uh, very happy with this motor so far. Like I said, I only got about five to seven hours on it so far, um, but I've been very, very happy with it. Uh, only difference I'm seeing as far as performance, one, like I said, it's it's a lot more peppier motor. It's it's popping out the hole fast. It's got a lot of sound to it. 
but the one thing I'm seeing is getting out the hole, the Mercury had a little more torque to it than the Suzuki does. But Suzuki does have a 300 that weighs a little bit more that has a lot more torque in it. They have a 300 and 350 dual prop, which I didn't get, that has the more torque if I was looking for that torque. I was looking for the lightweight, simplified, single prop motor. Um, that is the only difference I'm seeing as far as performance out of these motors. Um, look wise, I think they're both cool looking motors. But Suzuki was was the pick for me, and and I think it's gonna be for a lot of people. That warranty is hard to beat. Um, there's Suzuki service centers everywhere, and if you look at a lot of the new boats that are coming out on the market now, they're all loading them up with Suzukis from the factory because of all these perks. It's it's very hard to compete with. You know, I mean, if we got a boat sitting on a dealership floor that's got a three-year warranty compared to a five-year warranty, I mean, what are you gonna buy? You know, I, I'm gonna buy the warranty. Um, so especially when they're all performing pretty close to each other now. Uh, top speed was a little better though, and fuel economy and better warranty. Uh, warranty. I'm gonna go Suzuki. So I hope this video helped y'all out. Like and subscribe to the channel. We got a lot more coming. We're gonna do some comparisons on three to four blade props. We're gonna do break-in stuff. We're gonna do a lot of different things on motors and boats. Uh, we're gonna give you a walkthrough of this new 250 we got. So make sure y'all check out a bunch of other videos and like and subscribe so you can get the newest, latest videos we're putting out. And uh, Hope this helped you with your repower.